some of you may notice, I look a little bit different. Some might say strange. That is because I am on mobile. That is right, guys. Look at this interface. What is going on? Somehow, you guys have persuaded me to build a Bloxburg house on mobile. For a little bit of context, I used to be an iPad kid. I would only play Bloxburg on my iPad. Right now, I'm on my phone, and I have never played Bloxburg on a phone before. So, I'm a little scared for this video. I'm scared. I'm scared. So, guys, make sure to subscribe because this challenge is it's gonna be the most difficult thing I've ever done. As usual, I'm gonna name my house. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this keyboard. What should we call it? Help! Help me! Oh, I'm turning my volume up. Whoops. So the house itself. Oh my gosh. Why is it so small? I can't even see it. How do you place a wall? Why isn't it placed? What? Am I being dumb? Do you have to press it? Oh, this feels like The Sims. <laughs> This is honestly so weird, guys. Like, it even feels weird recording this because I'm just holding my phone. And how do you get an aerial view? No, I'm being serious. Like, what do I do to get in bird's eye view? Using space. I don't have a space. Okay. This can just be a big, long kitchen. So then I just carried this up on the top. And thank goodness they added the clone tool, guys. Because I remember back in the day, the clone tool just was not a thing on mobile. I admit, back in the day, I was one of those people. Like, my friends were like, just play on laptop. What are you doing? I was like, no, laptops for noobs. And then obviously, when I started my channel, like a year ago, I obviously started having to play on laptop. And I fell in love with it. But I think the annoying thing is the inconvenience of mobile. Like, normally, if I was on laptop the little sidebar would be down the side I could just go down and place the roof but now I have to press cancel x x then go down it's just so slow what's this who are you didn't mean to put that one and guys look what I've done obviously this bird's eye view camera shot is amazing <laughs> Next up, I think I'll add pillars, to be honest. Right, it's very tricky to move. It's very sensitive, I think, on the phone. Oh, it's disappeared now. <laughs> Is Dumbledore out here playing tricks on me? And guys, do you feel like you don't know what I'm about to do when I'm on mobile? Like, never let them know your next move. No AP. Because normally you see like my mouse moving to what I'm about to click. But on this, like you don't see now. So, oh, for goodness sake, I've done it again. I want to be upstairs. And then I'm going to do just a tiny pattern because this is actually going to be a farmhouse, guys. And also, I actually am praying for my phone storage right now. I don't know how it's meant to film like two hour video. So for the roof, I want shingle. And <laughs> this search bar is so funny. And then what I'm sad about is I want to make the front of this like white. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to really. But of of course i'm gonna try okay we got the first one in and then the second one but do you know what i wonder i wonder if the perspective of this video is gonna be like really weird and zoom like i did try it obviously before to make sure it works but <laughs> i don't know how it's gonna look for like a whole video before i started filming this video i had a whole face cam thing set up i had the camera ready but it's so embarrassing before i started i just got so nervous i was like guys i can't do face cam i honestly feel it coming soon guys one of these days this is gonna be the really hard part because i want to like custom build my windows so I'd normally probably use a clear and then add bits onto them. And also, my hands really hurt. Like, I, I ain't got no fancy stand, like, holding this phone up for me. I'm holding it in my bare hands. Do you know what? I don't want any of this. I just, I just don't want to have to put myself through such extreme measures. And I can't wait to, like, go in on laptop right at the end and just see, like, what the hell's gone on. Oh, my God. That is the most straightest thing I've ever seen. And also, I don't know why I made them white. They're meant to be black. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. And as I said, it's kind of going to be a farmhouse. So we might as well get, like, that farm garage door. <laughs> Who's Tara? I put garage. Garage. And I didn't want to put you guys through the pain of the rest of the window. So I just sped it up. Now we need to go inside and sort of work out the upstairs layout. Just because I was struggling, actually. And I'm going to try and make it a kind of, like, a realistic house. So not too big. So I, w I would give a bird's eye view, but... um. Oh. I can't. But what we've got going on here is kids' bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, closet, bedroom, hallway. First room I want to do is the kitchen. Sometimes I do checkers, but I don't think I can actually face doing 100 checkers in this room. The reason I made this wall so long at the back is because I wanted to have one of those modern glass door windows. So next up, we'll add the wall trims. And I kind of feel like we should actually be making them a bit more wood vibe. By the way, if you're mobile users watching, I'm not shading you mobile at all but if you are choosing to play on mobile over laptop i do just advise you to give laptop a go and i realized why have we just gone inside 
<laughs> and left the outside looking like this actual mess. I had plans to add like a porch and everything out here. The most barnyard door to me is just like the traditional French one. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do one of the oldest tricks in the book, guys. Why did we stop doing this actually? And this was before basic shapes came onto the scene. You basically just use a roof as the porch. And guys, in my mobile life, we're getting my dream of a white picket fence life. Next up, we'll add some wall lantern. Honestly, I think I would have been halfway done through this build if it was on laptop. So if we go through this tiny menu system, like I would admit it's quite satisfying doing this. Um, and then we go to flooring. Let's place down the driveway. I feel like the colors are in a different place on this. And I'm just so happy that I get to like make you guys happy by making this vid. Each and every one of you just comment what you want me to build next and I'll build it. I'm just going to place like a bunch of plants in this front bit. And also I literally forgot it's like Christmas soon and I ain't wasting no money on a car. So <gasps> this is the first time in my inventory we can just have like this vintage car. Finally, before we go back inside, a mailbox on the port. The kitchen is going to be modern. We're going to have all of the units on one side and then all of the counters on the other. And is it just me or is no one's stuff like loading on blocks? But like it takes ages these days. I can't go over how much this looks like The Sims. <laughs> And I'm struggling to decide if white and gold looks better or should it always be black and gold. And oh my gosh, you guys, I remember how to turn things now because it's kind of hard like to turn things with one finger. You have to put it into like a red zone and then you turn it and then you bring it back out of the red zone. So if you're building a mobile, guys, that's like a little trick. I forgot all of my little tricks. And also, guys, complete side note, I'm kind of, like, really tired because yesterday I went to London. Look at Buckingham Palace. Because you know what I always talk about in my videos? I actually went and saw it the other day. Look at how slow it is to turn things around. On laptop, you just drag it towards you. And also, I don't know why I've put this video off for so long. I think it is because of the face cam thing. Finally, I'm just making a fancy schmancy bookcase unit. It's unusual, different, it's unusual, it's unusual it is. And on mobile, everything looks so bad. It's making me look like a noob builder, guys. If this is your first video of me, I'm not a noob, okay? I think the most frustrating thing about this challenge is not having bird's eye view. Like, you don't realise how much you use it. Like, when we go into this bathroom here, how am I meant to put anything in it? It's going to be so hard. I actually think I might go to that room next. Now, we're going to have quite a chunky dining table. I'm not going to lie to you. The other day, I had a dream. This is so sad that I had a dream about this. But what if we use these chairs? <gasps> Why is that kind of a vibe? Guys, I actually really like that as a table. And then I'm just got to pray that that light's central because bird's eye view is not on my side. I forgot we had no roof, but so far, this is looking stunning. And top tip before you place second floor floors, always colour the underside as well. I think I want mine to be, I'm going to make it herringbone wood and just hope it doesn't go in a million different directions. I'm, oh my gosh, it's so small in here. You guys are hardly going to be able to see anything while I'm building this. Do you know what? The other day when I was in London, like I said, I saw these really nice green marble tiles. And then we'll obviously have to have the toilet this, this side. Wait, what? Where? The toilet over on this side. This is honestly so hard. We'll search up mirror and, of course, add a nice lead one. Aw, oh, that is cute. -y. Oh, no. I really do need bird's eye view to do the carpet because normally I go in bird's eye view and I place a checkered floor. Let's pray I can do it without. Guys, I actually think I did it. Woohoo! Woohoo! And while we're at the garage, we might as well do it. Now, some people get triggered when I make the floor wood. They say it will burst the tires. But, guys, it's only blocks bag. You don't need to wait. Worry, but now I am being a little bit sneaky. We are gonna have it as more of like an industrial sink area, maybe where you like wash up the traffic cones. You know, just like those dad items that you find in the garage. You know what, peeps? Why don't we add another car? Just because we are suffering does not mean we can't be rich as hell. So almost lastly down here, we have the lounge room. And I'm just checking I'm still recording. Yep. It's so weird checking. On my computer, I just glance up. On here, I have to pull the whole blimmin' thing down. I'm going right to the end to get the big dada entertainment center like do you know what it looks like it looks like when you don't have textures on and we can slowly slowly twist my tv around to go in there and then i'm feeling like doing a little corner sofa with my iconic wicker sectional sofa it's been a while since i've used you hasn't it and the corner bit does look a bit weird but i can't really be bothered to place it all again so uh, earlier i was like let's add some christmasy things we've added nothing this is going to be one of those little understated christmas houses because you know these days everybody goes crazy for christmas but some people literally prefer a simpler vibe. You're basic. And then we'll have, oh, don't know why my voice just went up about 20 octaves there. Have some of these lamps looking over. And guys, I'm not showing you that room again now until the tour because I want it to be a big surprise. This hallway is going to be built so quick. All we're having is the essentials, a table and a bench. And for the laundry room, 
am going to switch up ever so slightly. First of all, I don't know why I've, I've put those cabinets. That was an accident. And as you can see, we're going for a bit more of a traditional vibe. And this is a bit bigger than the bathroom. So it's actually manageable to like exist in here. I was thinking we could put like these underneath each one. We're going to use them. So they're the actual machines over here. And then on this side, I would normally have counters. But this time, I'm going to make it a little bit more natural. So put a light in there. Shine bright light. Now it's time to go upstairs, which I've actually already done this hallway. We're going to start off as usual with the master bedroom and then each room is going to branch off of this. I honestly think I'm growing accustomed to building with mobile. Not that I would ever go back to it. And Jesus, I didn't realise we've not even spent much money. This is like a budget house as well. We've only spent 100 grand so far. I just saved 30 cents. I've been so distracted because I'm on a different device. And also, I realised these windows are literally so wonky, but we're just going to ignore that at this stage. And we might as well get into our Christmassy spirit, guys, in my Christmassy, Christmassy house. house by putting some snowy bedding. Next, I'm doing my usual pillow routine, which is so incredibly hard on mobile because every time you play something, this big menu thing, that just pops up in my way like please oh okay we can actually place pillows on here i mean as usual from the side it looks like an absolute travesty but we ignore that even when we're on laptops so it's all good and then we'll just color a couple of the pillows you know what i might use this in the other room i love that obviously we'll change the colors as the rooms alternate back to the room at hand we will now do the night stands which is why do you call them in the united states of america now if you're marking my american accent i'm gonna let you do that because because I have a terrible American accent. Like, I can do a very good Irish accent, and I can do a very good New Zealand accent as well, or an Australian one. They are disconnected. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. <gasps> okay, I'm back. It literally took me so long, guys. So, we're gonna add a wardrobe, and I wanna make it fancy. And by fancy, I literally, literally, why am I glitching? I legit mean adding a traditional pillar in between them, if I can find it. We're just gonna have to stay strong tonight. And why not a chaise lounge just in the corner for an extra little bit of comfort? Are you comfortable right now? I heard- And as you can see, I actually made- I don't know why I put wardrobes out here because we actually have our very own walk-in closet. Built a similar design like this before. I think I did it in my Christmas apartment. So basically where the closet and bathroom interlink, we're gonna have the most luxurious bath Bloxburg has to offer. And we're gonna mix that with the holy grail of all showers. Is it just me or does the walls look really weird? Like the matrix like walls don't line up it really creeps me out then i've added a plant and we will add a toilet and i don't know why i'm so obsessed with singing guys like some of you love it some of you hate it and then i suppose we should get a sink but i'm just gonna nab the one from downstairs if i can even reach it it's kind of like locked away down there i'm surprised guys that i haven't accidentally like clicked my phone off because my fingers have been resting on the off button like this whole video because like i said i've literally been holding my phone for two hours also this week i've been trying to get my screen time down. This is going to make my screen time like so high, guys. Because me and my friends always compare our screen time. We're like, and mine's normally about four hours a day, so it's pretty bad. But some of theirs are like 11 hours a day. I'm like, bro. But to be fair, if you combined my phone screen time with my laptop screen time, it's probably a bit more like eight hours a day. That looks so nice in there. So if we go, we can basically do the same thing in this bedroom. I might use closets instead along the wall. By the way, guys, I've got to say, I'm very impressed with my phone storage. Let's have a round of applause for my phone storage, please. I remember way back when I first started my channel, my first videos were on mobile. She used to remember I would run out of storage every single day. And you guys don't need to see me build a third bedroom. So from this rubbish mobile angle, those rooms are done. And finally, we have the little nursery, which I've already started a little bit on. It's kind of good that this is the thin room, you know, because we can have the cribs wherever they are. Maybe like the changer down here as well. We'll have lots of wardrobes along here. Not so much for clothes, but more for the baby toys, which are about to scatter everywhere on this beautiful map. And as a kid, playing on like these little carpets was honestly the funnest thing, wasn't it, guys? And I'm still, even at the very end of this video, I'm still not used to being on the phone. Like, I feel like, I feel like I'm just like tech. Extinct. And with that, guys, the mobile house is built. I cannot take another moment of this grief. I'm going to compare the two rooms in the tour, but I have to go back over to laptop. Okay, oh, we are on laptop. And first of all, everything looks so big. After being on that tinsy wincy phone screen, from the outside, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
why isn't this that bad? I'm, I'm not even joking, and you guys know this. Like, we literally couldn't see the house on mobile, like, from afar, but it's actually really cute. The first thing we have is the garden, which actually took a lot more effort than it really looks like. And we have our little chair here as well. As we walk through the front door, this is what it looked like on mobile, and this is it on laptop. As you can see, the graphics are just so much better. Everything's so much smoother. And this, obviously, it's not got, like, roof beams or anything extra, but it's, it's a bog standard house. Like, it will do. To the right, we have the garage, which looks very similar on laptop as to what it does on mobile, to be fair. This is obviously where we can wash our hands. Oh, very tight squeeze, guys. Got to go to Slimming World if I want to carry on fitting in here. I'm light as a feather. And to the right, we have the laundry room. Okay, this one is a little bit more of a flop-tastic room. I do like this texture and like this unit over here, but probably should have added a counter. It looks a little bit trashy just being on the floor. And as we go through, oh my gosh, I forgot we can go into like fly mode now. As we go through, we have the main living room and this is where I'm most impressed. This just looks like anything I would normally build on laptop. Like fair enough, this looks a little bit off, but this, this is such a nice room. It's a typical Reese's room. First of all, we have the lounge where we can chill out with the fans um, you know and obviously like everything is like in its place land in here I will admit that but I think that's just my building skills so that doesn't have much to do with mobile over here is the dining room I've never built a dining room like this literally in my whole YouTube life and I really like it and over here is the kitchen it's beautiful and I also added this back door like I didn't really show me adding this I don't think but it's kind of a nice touch and in this kitchen we can do anything we want <laughs> take ingredients we can make a garden salad if we wanted to and again if we can compare like these rooms like it looks literally the same and the last little room down here <laughs> is this toilet and it doesn't even look that bad like honestly it's obviously a little bit compact in here but it's not as bad as i thought it would be as we go upstairs oh i'm excited let's start with what i think the worst rooms are for. this baby room i was so done with the challenge by the time we got to this room i am done <laughs> it's basically just a room with a bunch of the baby furniture in to be honest in here is the first guest bedroom kind of the perfect size it's got a nice three windows it gets its own ensuite bathroom which again i was pretty much done at this point in the challenge second to last we have my second favorite bedroom did i have to cash register in here i thought this was a computer guys i'm telling you the phone screen is so small i could hardly even tell and then obviously we have the bed over here and the closet i really do love a closet wall finally a master bedroom we've got big wardrobes we've got a big bed we've got a reading area we've even got a closet and last but not least we have our bathroom and i've truly got to say i absolutely love the layout of this room i do hope you guys like this very very different video do subscribe if you like the video thanks for watching and i'll see you all in the next one